Public service announcements, or PSAs, are ads meant to raise public awareness of a certain issue. Due to their often serious nature and bleak tone, and the fact that many were shown in schools and on television, it's no surprise that many children growing up were terrified of PSAs. Personally, the Pee Wee Herman crack cocaine one uh, scarred me as a kid. Everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong. It could be dead wrong. Commercials are rarely archived or sold through home media, so many of these haunting PSAs have become lost over time. Thankfully, the Lost Commercials Foundation has made an effort to search for some of this missing content. While they've yielded many finds, a handful of cases have gone cold. So today, we're going over the scariest lost PSAs. Hate Hurts You Hate Hurts You was a 1974 PSA about anti-Semitism, created by the Jewish Chautauqua Society. Descriptions of the ad claimed that it featured a man walking towards the viewer, becoming angrier and angrier the closer he got. Finally, in a sinister voice, he proclaims, quote, Hate is an acid that corrodes, a poison that erodes your body, mind, and soul. So when you hate, who do you hurt the most? Hate hurts you. The PSA ends with the man's head exploding and a voiceover that yells, hate hurts you. Understandably, the ad terrified many children of the 70s. And in the following decade, a shortened version was released by the same company. The music was changed and the dialogue was trimmed to appear less scary. But the damage was done, and the PSA was reportedly pulled off the air. Thankfully, the shortened version is fully available on YouTube. When you hate, who do you hurt the most? Hate hurts you. But many of the comments expressed a desire to see the original, unaltered 70s version which has remained lost ever since. Quote, The one I remember that played in the early 80s was more sinister. Scary, no music, just a man stopping angrier and angrier towards the camera to the slow beat of the word hate, hate, hate. Anyone have that version? We'd like to see the earlier version again. It was longer and better. I scoured the internet a few years ago to no avail. I guess the Jewish Chautauqua Society disappeared and took it with them. Remnants of this PSA can still be found online. By using the Wayback Machine on the Jewish Chautauqua's webpage, we can find a quick mention of the PSA. There's also this article from the New York Times, which briefly mentions it. Suffice it to say, the obscurity and age of Hate Hurts You made it incredibly challenging to find. But in early 2023, a user on Reddit claimed to have recovered the lost PSA. They had supposedly located a copy of the longer 30-second version on a 16mm reel and were working on getting it converted. While many were excited about the news, no updates have been given since. In 2021, a Reddit user named Anonymous Redditor made a post to the non-murder mystery subreddit in which he detailed a lost, frightening PSA. Quote, When I was a kid, I saw this creepy advert on TV. I only ever saw it once, and ever since I saw it, I always wondered what it was trying to advertise and who made it. What I remember, the advertisement starts off with a home video of a young girl running around in a field of daisies and maybe blowing on a dandelion. Her mother might also be sitting on the grass with the girl. The footage is quite old and potentially in black and white. It is similar to the Daisy advert from 1964, but not it. Over the top, the song Whatever Will Be Will Be by Doris Day is playing. There is then a picture of the little girl, which slowly morphs into a woman as she grows up. 
The picture of a woman then morphs into an ill-looking, bruised woman, whose facial features have been damaged from drugs. A clanging sound can be heard, as jail bars then appear over the image, and the song fades out. The advert appeared approximately between 2003 and 2010 in England. What I can guess, the advert in question was probably some sort of crime prevention public service announcement. It could also have been a drug prevention PSA. If anyone remembers or recognizes this, or can help me find it, that would be much appreciated. While some of the commenters claim to have also seen such an ad, no one knew where it originated. One comment, however, was of interest. Quote, I remember it vividly, if that helps. It was definitely a PSA. Can't remember for what, and I think it got pulled pretty quickly. Must have been between 2003 and 2006. Though because I wasn't in the UK between 2006 and 2009, and I remember being young and very confused. Shit was terrifying. Don't know how helpful that is, but at least you know you didn't dream it. Meanwhile, other users from different parts of the world also claim to have seen it, such as Australia and Canada. Fortunately, Into the Bounding Main, who founded the Lost Commercials Foundation, showed interest. To help the search, this recreation was made. final update was posted later that year. Quote, For those unaware, for over five years, I have been actively searching for a mysterious commercial I had the displeasure of watching when I was younger. If you want to read the original thread explaining it, here it is. But the TLDR version is it was a creepy 30-ish second ad with home footage of a little girl that slowly morphs into a horrible disfigured woman as the song Kia Sera Sera plays in the background. Me and fellow Redditors have decided that this ad probably aired around 2007. The last update, I had managed to track down a PSA that a Redditor had watched alongside what could have been the commercial I am looking for when watching a movie at a cinema in London. Although I managed to track down one of the PSAs that they saw, I still wasn't any closer to finding the Kia Sera Sera ad. Yesterday, in a last ditch attempt to gather any more information, I posted on r slash ask UK as it was the only subreddit that I hadn't posted on regarding the sad. A redditor pointed me to a creepy version of the song by Pink Martini, which was released in 1997. I am of the opinion that this was the version used in the adverts slash PSA I watched, as this version of the song would definitely be more likely to fit with the tone of the commercial. So my next step is to find out as much information as possible. If anybody knows of any resources that I can use to find out what companies and organizations have licensed this version of this song, it may lead me to becoming closer to finding this thing. Into the Bounding Main, meanwhile, theorized that the missing ad might have been this Metropolitan Police PIF, in which several images of a drug-addicted woman are shown. These were the images used for the recreation. Since then, the mystery has sadly gone cold, and has remained that way for well over a year. There are a number of ads and PSAs with similar features to Kia Sera Sera, but none were a perfect match. Before we move forward, I want to give a quick thanks to today's sponsor, Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. I've talked about them a few times on the channel before, but I really do believe they have the best products for us guys. And today, I want to talk about their latest ultra-smooth package. 
uh, the kit comes with an easy to follow three step guide for shaving your more sensitive areas down there. The crop exfoliator is a soft liquid gel to help reduce ingrown hairs. The crop gel prepares your skin for a close shave. And finally, the crop shaver itself has three precision blades and a pivoting head for the safest, most flexible shave. If that's not enough, this package comes with five replacement blades and for a limited time only, two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and these sick anti-chafing boxer briefs. I'm rambling, but go to manscaped.com and use my promo code Horhead20, that's J-O-R-G-E-2-0, for 20% off, plus free international shipping, and the two free gifts. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now, let's resume. Key to Heaven. Our next missing PSA contains such terrifying imagery that it's no wonder it became a piece of lost media. A user in 2022 made a post on Reddit titled PSA with the title Key to Heaven. It read, I remember seeing a creepy PSA named Key to Heaven or something along those lines. From my memory, the video went like this. A kid and his mother are on a boat on a large pond slash lake with trees and vegetation surrounding them. The kid turns to his mother and asks her something. But when the camera turns to the mother, she looks like a demon slash monster who responds with something. The kid tries to hug the mother, but then she shoves his head in the water and attempts to drown him. It then cuts to a black screen and text saying, don't abuse children or something along those lines. I tried to look for it again, but I can't find it. Edit. The boat was a rowing boat. The kid was also asking the mother a question to which she responded to. Despite being the mother, the monster thing had a masculine voice, which also sounded like a dying camel slash llama, and acted kind to the child before attempting to drown him. I misremembered the end, I think. Instead of the screen cutting the black, it just zoomed out, showing a long shot of the mother drowning the boy while on a rocking boat, with an anti-child abuse message overlaid on top. Other names I searched up were Lock to Heaven, Door to Heaven, Key to Hell, etc. Although I didn't find the video I was looking for, these names might be it, instead of Key to Heaven. The OP later clarified that they saw the video on YouTube sometime around 2011. While the post received little attention, one comment stood out amongst the rest. It was a user who saw a similar ad in the late 90s from Brazil. Quote, The one I watched has this boy and his dad, and they're waiting on a bus station. The kid is eating cotton candy, while his dad is smoking a cigarette very close to him as they're holding hands. Then the next cut, we can see the smoke going from the cigarettes to the kid's candy cotton. The boy tries to get away, but the dad keeps pushing him. Then I vaguely remember a slow motion scene with passerbys ignoring the child's sorrowful look as they walk by the bus station. He also tries to scream, but he has no voice. And for that, no one can hear him asking for help. After that, the camera shows them standing on the bus station, just like the beginning. But the dad has turned into this very weird, pig-like human devil creature. And the boy didn't seem to be scared at all, just very bothered and sad. I remember his dad's skin had turned red, and the head was like the head of a warthog, but his body was still human. Then it cuts to a black screen with text saying, don't abuse children. Then the text changed to, if they don't have a voice, speak for them, report child abuse. It was very bizarre, and it's still haunting me to this day. I saw it on elementary school twice, but never saw it again. I don't know if this has anything to do with the one you're searching, but it has these very similar elements. Maybe finding will lead us to the other. A third user responded to this comment, claiming to have seen this ad in Brazil as well. 
Finally, a member from the Lost Commercials Foundation Discord came forward with a similar missing ad. Quote, Hi, I have a very odd request. Mystery? My mom is from Brazil. I'm from the USA. And she said that, in the 90s, there was a PSA that was horrific and creepy. It was against child abuse. And basically, there was a kid whose dad was a demon pig thing at a bus stop. She swears she is not crazy, but I've not been able to find it anywhere. Anyone have any ideas? Sadly, that's all there is to this mystery. There is a Reddit post from March of this year from a completely different user looking for the same ad. A lot of what they remember corroborates with what is already assumed of this PSA, but it too has yielded no results. For this final entry, we have two lost Filipino PSAs, both of which are incredibly strange. From 2018 to 2021, several users began posting about a missing Filipino ad on the face of a group, the Spooky Advertisements Group. According to the Lost Media Wiki, the ad was about an impending apocalypse that was prophesized in the Bible. The ad supposedly began with the word rapture on screen. An unknown date is displayed beneath it, and the image of Jesus Christ resurrecting is in the background. After this, a compilation of disturbing images from the Holocaust was shown. Suddenly, the number 666 appears, followed by photos of people with the same number on their foreheads. The PSA finally ends with an image of Christ resurrecting in Galilee, Israel. Other details include ominous background music, narration, and the usual, this is a paid advertisement message. Despite a handful of recollections, no one seems to know who made the sad. It's theorized it was produced by some fundamentalist religious group to scare viewers into joining their movements. Some have claimed to have seen it on certain channels or programs, but nothing is definitively known. To end this entry, here's a recreation made by users on Reddit searching for the sad. Next is another lost Filipino PSA known by the community as Shabu, though the ad's official title remains unknown. Shabu presents an anti-drug message. As the term Shabu in itself is slang for the stimulant drug methamphetamine. Various online users recall it airing in the late 1980s and well into the 1990s, possibly airing as early as 1986 or 1987. The original post from 2018, when translated, roughly reads, quote, I remember a scary anti-drug PSA that was exclusively aired at IBC 13 in the late 80s. In a plain black background, there is a styrofoam figure of a human being that is slowly melting because it is stepped on by acid. At the end of the ad, the word SHABU, all caps, bold, and white font, appeared on top of the melted star figure, followed by loud, creepy background music. Various mentions would follow within this group. However, it was in April of 2021 when Reddit user Derek Carla would provide a more detailed account within a post to r slash lost media. Quote, Hello, I am from the Philippines. I would like to ask assistance about locating a Shabu PSA that was shown in IBC 13. It was commonly shown around 6 p.m. as a commercial. The premise, as I remember, is a white human-shaped figure was shown, and is slowly dissolved from a liquid dropping from above. The background is black and white star-shaped spots. And as the figure finally dissolved, the word Shabu was shown above it. 
No voiceover, but an eerie sound in the background. This is the only drug-related PSA that was shown in the Philippines TV, and it was not shown again. Maybe this is because it's scary for kids and adults. Any help is greatly appreciated. The Shabu PSA remains completely lost, with even its existence not fully confirmed. Though different recreations of the ad have been posted on the Internet Archive, as well as the Spooky Advertisements Facebook group. Until then, Shabu, as well as all the other ads mentioned in this video, will remain a mystery. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.